First, Friday night, and again Monday afternoon, the DPRK ambassador unleashed a stream of accusations against Malaysia that it was purposely delaying the release of the body, was releasing misinformation aiming to tarnish the DPRK and colluding with hostile foreign powers. Predictably, Malaysia's foreign ministry reacted Monday morning by summoning the ambassador for a reprimand. The foreign ministry said it viewed the DPRK ambassador's allegations as baseless, that it takes seriously any unfounded attempts to tarnish the country's reputation, and that it's recalling its ambassador from Pyongyang for consultations, a common form of diplomatic protest. But hours after the meeting, the under-pressure ambassador, if anything, went even further. As far as all the happenings clearly show that this incident is politicized by Malaysia in collusion with South Korea. <coughs> we officially inform Malaysia and international community that we suggest the joint investigation on this incident for its clear clarification. Kang Chol accused Malaysia's Deputy Prime Minister of falsely reporting that the DPRK embassy had confirmed the deceased was indeed Kim Jong-nam. He ridiculed police arguments that they needed to get next of kin to provide DNA samples and demanded to be able to interview the two women suspected of attacking the victim. Up to date, we have been respecting the Malaysian police and waiting with patience for their fair and accurate investigation result. On the contrary, they pinned the suspicion on us and targeted the investigation against us. After this latest outburst, Malaysia may consider expelling the DPRK ambassador. Ryan Meltzer, CGTN, Kuala Lumpur.